Welcome to Arts Attack Publications. Today we're going to look at how to use the Arts Attack online program and the features available to you. Once you've purchased, you'll come back to the site and sign in by clicking on the account link in the upper right hand corner and then click sign in. When signing in, you will use the same username and password you created when you purchased your program. Once signed in, you will automatically be directed to your My Products page. This will be your starting point for all online courses. You can come back to this page at any time by choosing the My Products link under your account menu. Within each product tile, you have a quick view of when the product was purchased, the expiration date, how many plays have been used, and finally the phone number to our support hotline. To enter the course, click on the product tile. Each course view is broken down into two major areas, grades or levels, and lessons. In the grade or levels section, there is a drop down for you to choose the grade in the program you want to view. If you have only purchased a single grade, you will only see one item in the dropdown. The breakdown for each grade or level has three supporting areas, training video, documents, and art prints. The training video is a great resource that you can come back to at any time to review certain sections of the program. The video is broken down into chapters that are accessible from the right hand side of the video window. Clicking on a chapter will allow you to skip around to the sections of the video you are interested in. Chapters include a program overview, teaching tips, an overview of the teacher's manual, how to host an art show along with examples from other schools, and finally, a couple of demo lessons to help get you started. The documents section includes the teacher's manual along with the art supplies list, lesson summaries, art print guides, scope and sequence, and other helpful documentation. When you click on a document, it will pop up in a document viewer within your browser window. From here, you can view, print, or download the documents. The document viewer displays differently depending on the browser you are using. As seen here in Chrome, the controls are automatically at the top of the document window. When using Microsoft Internet Explorer, you will have to right click on the document and turn off read mode in order to see the controls. When using Microsoft Edge, you will need to right click on the document to save the document. You can then open the saved PDF file on your system to print. Just click on the ellipse in the upper right hand corner and choose print from the context menu. The Art Print Guides documentation is the companion to the art prints listed in the third column, which we call the Great Masters Virtual Museum. When you click on one of the art prints, you are presented with a gallery of images. You can then click on any one image for an expanded view which will display beautifully on a projector. The art print guides include a description of the artwork, biography of the artist, questions for discussion, as well as suggested activities and extensions. Below in the lesson area you will find your video lessons and supporting documents. Supporting documents include the lesson plan and any drawing aids needed for the lesson. When you click to play the lesson video, you will see the chapters are listed on the right hand side of the video. Each lesson has the same format, materials needed, demonstration of the lesson, students working through the lesson, and finally finished artwork. Today we have reviewed the three components of the Arts Attack curriculum, video lessons, printable lesson plans, and our Great Masters Virtual Museum with support materials. We hope you have enjoyed our brief tutorial of the Arts Attack curriculum and we thank you for bringing the arts to your students.